Affordable housing is nearly impossible to find these days. Mobile home communities make up a huge stock of that here in New Mexico, and investors are taking notice. For investigator Brittany Costello discovered a law that's supposed to protect people just creates more barriers. And now one Santa Fe couple will lose everything. It's a labor of love. Come on, stay up there. From the year-round picking and planting to the boards and nails that went into building it. It's almost like a custom home to us now. This is Aaron Dennis's favorite spot with a view. One that reminds him why he and his wife moved to Santa Fe. To this very spot more than 45 years ago. To a home they will soon walk away from. So what happens when you guys leave? I don't know. You just leave this here? I don't know. He wants us to move it all, but that's impossible, so. At 78 years old, he blames part of that impossible task on his age, the rest on modifications they did over the years. His mobile home isn't so mobile anymore. Dennis says his longtime community, Dale Mobile Village, changed hands at the end of last year. Along with new park rules, the new owner raised rent. The Dennises own their own home. Their rent covers the plot of dirt it sits on, water, and access to this dumpster right here. Even with no amenities, on May 1st, their rent will nearly double. If he did it knowing that he was going to be throwing everybody out, then that's, that's one thing. But if he did it thinking that people were just going to be able to come up with it. I don't understand that thinking. We tried to track down the new owner. You're calling us. No one called us back. These are folks who are often elderly. They're on fixed incomes. At the New Mexico Center on Lawn Poverty, Maria Griego works with the Dennises and others at the park. But she says this is a much bigger problem surrounding a law. She says the state isn't enforcing. The New Mexico Attorney General has authority to enforce the act. But historically, um, the administrations have shown little to no interest. It's called the Mobile Home Park Act. It's supposed to protect residents and set standards for mobile home park owners. But folks in parks around the state will tell you it's much more complicated than that. We've become cash cows for outstate investor groups. Gary Perry lives in a mobile home community in Alamogordo. He says when he reported a violation of the Mobile Home Park Act to the New Mexico Attorney General's office, he was told to get private legal help. One firm wanted a $50,000 retainer uh, to begin researching our case. Why should we as private senior citizens, mostly living on fixed or limited incomes, have to seek private legal service and the expense of it to enforce and on the book, New Mexico law. The attorney general's office argues the law doesn't explicitly state it has the authority to investigate and act on complaints, though it is monitoring for possible violations. The lack of enforcement favors park owners and investors who are eager to capitalize on affordable housing, with some websites promising big profit and fewer operating costs. These challenges will continue and that these abuses will uh, run rampant until somebody takes um, notice and um, enforcement is taken seriously. Lawmakers failed to strengthen the Mobile Home Park Act this session. Honestly, this is a work in progress. The bill would have capped rent increases and given residents the right to band together to buy a mobile home park before an owner could sell. It died in its first committee. An indescribable letdown for people like Aaron Dennis. The materials for this wall came from a boardwalk in a set of young guns. Who will soon sift through the things they've collected during their life here. Yep, afraid so. Loading up what they can take with them in this gifted RV, their new home. We've got better things coming. I don't know what. Or where they'll go from here. Brittany Costello for Investigates.